Homeowners in one North Fort Worth neighborhood woke up to an unsettling side, and now they can't figure out if it was a prank or something more. Tim Molasina is joining us. Uh, at the very least, this thing, Ken, I saw the signs. It's concerning I mean, at, the, at the least. They're right? wondering why, you know, and, and exactly what was the intention in all of this. You know, the neighborhood seemed to have been tagged with handfuls of signs printed on paper. Those signs read, It's okay to be white. That's what was printed on them, but no one knows who put them up. Here's what it looked like along Waverly Lane in North Fort Worth early Thursday morning. Cell phone video and pictures taken of the area show the signs reading, It's okay to be white, posted onto lampposts and other pieces of public property. By the time we got there, all of the signs except for this one were gone, but it didn't stay up too much longer. I'm about as white and as old as you're going to get in this neighborhood. Clearly, Lois Burt, one of the neighbors here, is opposed to the message, one that some have deemed as being discriminatory. And I don't care what color you are. I don't care what religion you are. I don't care what your economic status is. All I, I, you judge people by how they act. What no one seems to be able to answer is who put them up and what exactly was the intention of the message. People kind of get up in arms about things like that, so I get the fear with it, but at the same time, it could just be a silly prank. District 4 Councilman Kerry Moon isn't taking it lightly. And I condemn any type of uh, literature uh, sign that uh, is posted uh, that may be offensive to some folks. All of this comes on the heels of a recent report sent to council members about anti-immigrant activity in other parts of the city involving, quote, the placement of defamatory banners and flyers on public property. There's just not a place for this in Fort Worth, and it's not indicative of the true force spirit. Well, the councilman said this kind of activity is considered a class C misdemeanor and those responsible could face a citation. He also said instead of ripping the signs down, neighbors should call police immediately and leave those signs up since they are considered to be evidence and then just let the police investigate the situation. Doug?